Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm William. I'm Kina. And we are the Nerdy Weds. And today we are doing an unboxing. She doesn't know what we're doing. She just knows we're doing an unboxing. So I guess it's a reveal for me. Yep. Okay. It's something I got for her. Because um, I'm always trying to get her little things. And it's something that uh, I was like, we could do an unboxing video for this. So let's get started. So I was at, oh geez, oh, it's all the way over here. Um, I was at Books A Million, not sponsored, and uh, um, I was looking at board games and stuff, and generally speaking, their board games are way overpriced, you know, for what you can get on Amazon or, or some other stores. Um, but I checked Amazon versus what was on the shelf, the price on the shelf, and it was like $3 difference. So I'm like, you know what? I can, I can live with $3. So I got... <laughs> Smash Up Marvel Edition. It is not only a standalone Smash Up game, but it is also expansions for your existing Smash Up. So if you have Smash Up, the Marvel Smash Up is also an expansion for that. Okay. And it comes with all of the uh, the dividers and all that stuff for the big geeky box. So here you go. You want to oh. open it up? I saw you start to open it and... I love Smash Up, so this is awesome, and this is well played because I like to get stuff and take a while before I open it, <laughs> so I guess he figures if we say we're doing an unboxing that I will actually and I do it on have camera. to open it, and you know, do it on camera, I actually have to open it. But you know, it would be nice if we're doing an unboxing, you actually bring us something that allows us to actually unbox it. There you go. <laughs> So, they, have to think of so they can't see me. Yeah, you do. So they can't see me struggle busting it over here. Struggle bus. All right. So this, I think, contains eight factions, along with associated bases. If you've ever played Smash Up, uh, it is a uh, card game where you have two separate decks of cards that you mix together into one deck. Um, and each one of the decks is a faction. And then you play these decks of cards against each other, uh, trying to score bases. And each, each base that you're trying to score has its own scoring conditions. I was just the, showing the cards while yeah. you were talking. You can actually read them, the factions, if you like. Yeah. It's, uh, let's take a look at, this will be, the easy, I think, the easiest way to, to look at the factions. So the Avengers faction... Assembles six mighty heroes whose different skills can handle any situation. There's, bun there's a lot more text, but I'm not going to get into all of that. These are dividers, so when you have the bigger box, you can use them to separate the individual decks in the box. The Ultimates. The Ultimates patrol the universe looking for cosmic threats. So it looks like uh, Captain Marvel is the character in the Ultimates here. And Iron Man was the character in the Avengers. Then there's the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D., more than eight in here, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D., um, the Sinister Six, which the Sinister, Sinister Six love to prey on weaknesses, a weakness. So. There's more than eight? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so I think only half is in this box because there's only four decks here. Uh, I think each one of those is actually two decks. Oh, okay. So there is eight. All right, nice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's eight. Okay. So Hydra with a uh, red skull, the Kree, and the Masters of Evil. You have, so half of the decks are heroes, half of the decks are villains, and you can mix and match them in any which way you choose. You can do it randomly, or you can mix heroes with villains, villains with heroes, and uh, heroes versus villains. So. I just separated two uh, yeah. decks already. So you can see here, uh, each of the decks consists of different kinds of cards. There are two main types of cards in a deck. Uh, critters, or uh, minions rather, not critters, but minions, 
and actions. So each thing allows you, to, you know, minions you can play on bases, little numbers at the top of the cards signify how many points you're putting on the base, and each of the bases have a breaking point like this one. Once 18 points worth of uh, minions are placed on the base, uh, it breaks, and then you score according to what's here and the underlying text, the subtext of each card. So that's pretty much the essence of Smash Up. Yeah. It's a very simple game. It's a lot of fun. You just shuffled two of these decks together, and boom, you can play Smash Up. Well, thank you. This is pretty cool. I, I have the bigger box, and I need to get more of these different uh, factions to fill it up. So yep, this is it's cool. a big box. It's really cool. <laughs> so I think that's that's pretty much it. She's yeah. just going to look through the cards. and Yeah, I figure gonna... um, since it's a gift for me, I can look through the cards while you explain everything to them. Oh, yeah. You, and yeah, you're, it's all you're pretty good. good at explaining things as well. So, all right. That's all I have to say. <laughs> yep, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is a short one. And check out Smash Up. This is the Marvel edition of Smash Up. And we'll let you know what we think another time. Uh, definitely be hearing more about Smash Up as we do more and more of her expansions and putting together her box. So, take it easy, guys. And until next time, stay nerdy.